Boy, this Georgia football team is the luckiest football team in all the college football. And I'm telling you, Georgia fans, your Georgia Bulldogs got away with another one. They got away with another one. Yo, Georgia Bulldogs is the old Auburn, the l luckiest team in college football. Y'all just took Auburn place. That's all. Injuries is saving y'all. And I'm talking about opponent, I mean, uh, injuries to the opponent. And if you go back to 2021, what happened when you beat my Alabama Crimson Tide? Two star receivers couldn't go in the game. Jameis Williams went down in the game, or Jamison Williams, he went down in the game. Couldn't come back in. John Metchie couldn't play in that game. And you got the win over my Alabama Crimson Tide. What happened the very next season in 2022? Against Ohio State, they star receiver. Marvin Harrison Jr. went down in the game, couldn't come back in the game. What happened today? Florida, starting quarterback DJ Ladway went down, couldn't come back in the game. And that's when y'all, you know, started stopping Florida. But up until then, Florida was basically doing what they want to do to you. I don't care how you look at the game. I don't care how you look at it. Once DJ Lagway went out, Billy Napier had to change his whole offensive scheme around. The quarterback run was no longer. DJ Lagway was tearing y'all asses up and those Florida Gators were tearing y'all up on edge. But once, once DJ Lagway went out, all you had to do was cover the edges on the run game and because the quarterback ain't going to run. And still, you struggled with Florida after that. Still, you struggled. This Georgia Bulldog football team is not a championship caliber football team. I don't care how you look at it. I don't care what you Georgia fans say. And I know you Georgia fans going to be all up in the comments trying to state your case. But if you look at it, your team, and be honest with yourself, your Georgia Bulldogs is not championship caliber. They are not. You got away with one against the Kentucky Wildcats. You got to wait in. Come on now. And your quarterback, you better fix him. You better fix your quarterback. You got a $4,000 lemon or a $4 million lemon out there at quarterback. And Kirby refused to put him on the bench. And that lemon named Carson Beck going to cost you. Trust me on that. It's coming. It almost caught up with you today. But guess what? DJ Lagway went out the game. DJ Lagway went out the game. Because if he'd have been in there, I guarantee you, you would have lost. You had no answer for the guy. You had no answer for the Florida Gator offense when DJ Lagway was in the game. None whatsoever. But like I said, you better fix that quarterback. That $4 million lemon you got called Carson Beck. Three interceptions today, three interceptions last week, three interceptions against my Alabama Crimson Tide, and it was another team out there that he didn't had, he had two interceptions against. This this bomb of a quarterback named Carson Beck got eleven interceptions through seven games, and you think you're gonna win a national championship with that? Hell no, hell no, unless. Unless injuries come into play. And I'm talking about star players on the opposing team. That is the only way. Other than that, no deal. I'm going to tell you right, like that. No deal. Now, I don't care that Carson Beck came out and threw for over 300 yards. Because y'all love to bring over, I mean, bring up how many yards this bomb threw. I don't care about that. But you will leave out. How terrible he played. How terrible. Now, when the game is going on, y'all will call this man garbage. Y'all will call him terrible. Tell me he need to be benched. But once you pull out the game, you praising that bomb. You praising him. Because that's what he is, a bomb of a quarterback. And the so-called experts, the talking heads, had this clown freaking to my, coming into the season. To my, he's the best quarterback in the country. He, he's the front runner to win the national I mean, he's the front runner to win the Heisman Trophy. And I call bullshit on it then. Just like I call bullshit on Carson Beck dating back to the offseason going into the 2023 season. And you, you, you Georgia fans talk like he was going to be the next Joe Montana. 
the next Tom Brady. Come on, man. Get out of here. Get out of here. That boy is absolute trash. Absolute trash. Got all this black paint on his face like he a daggone, he a daggone A1 quarterback. A1 garbage. A1 trash. A1 bottom of the barrel. That's what he is. Bottom of the barrel quarterback. But guess what? He winning. He winning. Even though he throwing a thousand damn interceptions a game. He winning off the back of everybody else. That's what he doing. That's what he doing. He winning off the back of everybody else. Off the efforts of everybody else. Because he dang sure ain't the, ain't the reason why Georgia is a one-loss team. And I'm going to tell you right now, Georgia Bulldogs and your Georgia Bulldog fans, this Georgia Bulldog team is the worst one-loss team in the country. I'm calling it like I see it. The worst one-loss team in the country. Disputed. Disputed. Yeah, I know you beat Texas. I know you beat Texas. I don't give a damn about that. But as you said, before they played y'all, Texas ain't played nobody. So why y'all at like beating Texas is such a big win? In, in y'all own words, they ain't played nobody. Come on now. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. Now I know y'all gonna come in this in this in the comments. Go dogs. How about them dogs? And like I told you, your dogs is the worst one loss team in the country. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. And like I said, and you and and you got the worst daggone quarter, one of the worst quarterbacks in the country. It's just that y'all got so much talent around him. And I know why those talking talking heads, the so-called experts, had Carson Beck dubbed as the as the front runner to win the Heisman coming to the season, the best quarterback in the country coming into the season. I know why. Because all of last year, you had Brock Bowers to make him look good. You had Lam McConkey, even though I thought he was average, to make him look good. That's why they had, they had them pick as the front runner for the Heisman Trophy or named the best quarterback in the country because of those two guys. Just like he winning off the back of everybody else. Those two guys last season made him look good. And I told y'all last year, Carson Beck, he throwing the ball two to three yards behind the scrimmage or five yards downfield, and those guys take, take it yards out the catch and make him look good. And as I said last season, when he finished the season, take a thousand of his yards away and give them to, to Lad McConkey, freaking Brock Bowers, and those running backs out the backfield catching those five yard passes. That's what you should do. Because if they, it wasn't for yards out the catch, Carson Beck would, his numbers would look just like he do, like garbage. That, that plain and damn simple. Plain and damn simple. And in your in your in your daggone coach Kirby Smart, just be making himself look like a damn idiot. All that jumping around on the dang sideline. I don't, you know, you have coaches should have some type type of emotion, but this guy takes it overboard. Come on, man. Come on, man. He on the sidelines or or, or during the timeout slapping his players upside the head all in their face mask after Carson Beck throw an interception. You should be slapping Carson Beck, not everybody else. What sense does that make? A straight idiot. Man, that's what your coach is. Mr. Kirby Smart. He's slapping his damn players, the wrong one, not the ones that make the mistake, the ones that actually doing good. He slapped them. And the one that's making a mistake, he good. He don't need to be slapped. And then... You, you're pushing up on, I guess, I think, it was, I don't know whose quarterback it was uh, a few few weeks ago. you pushing him. He should have slapped Curry Smart upside his damn head. But, hey, that's neither here nor there. Matter of fact, who's damn, who damn uh, quarterback he pushed? Let me check. Was it Mississippi State quarterback? I believe it was. Mississippi State, uh, yeah, probably Mississippi State quarterback that he pushed a couple of weeks ago. That guy should have should have hit him dead in his motherfucking mouth. Knock all this front grill out. I bet he wouldn't push nobody else. He'll be too damn scared. But anyway, and, and they'd have probably suspended that guy. They ain't do nothing to Kirby. 
But hey, gave him a talking to. But I'm telling you now, Georgia, Georgia Bulldog fans, you don't have a championship caliber team. You ain't got no championship caliber quarterback. And you and y'all have the nerve to sit and talk about Miro, what he can't do. When you got that bum trying to throw passes. A turnover machine, an interception machine, that's what he is. So you Georgia Bulldog fans, you keep filling your head up and want to and, and, and act like these Georgia Bulldogs is just a cream mother crop football team. Keep acting that way and you're going to have a rude awakening. A rude awakening. And I can guarantee you right now, you will not be the 2024 national champions. You might not even be the 2024 SEC champions. You got two games coming up back to back. Ole Miss and Tennessee. You're going to lose at least one of them. You're going to lose at least one of them, if not both. Watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you. You might, you might call me a Georgia hater. I'm not a Georgia hater because guess what? I give you credit when you play good. Just like I gave you credit when you beat the hell out of those Texas Longhorns. I gave you credit for it. And, and y'all was all oh, appreciate it. Appreciate you giving us credit. Thank you for sticking up for my George Bulldog. Well, guess what? Not today, because you look like straight ass. Especially your quarterback. It is what it is. You know, my Alabama Crimson Tide got everything figured out about you. You know that? That's why y'all can't beat us. With or without Nick Saban. We got everything figured out about you. It ain't hard. It ain't hard. Not for my Alabama Crimson Tide, at least. You cannot, or the Georgia Bulldogs, Kirby Smart, they cannot beat a healthy Alabama team. That's all I know. And just like I said, y'all are the luckiest team in college football. You are the old Auburn. Nothing more. Nothing less. Roll damn tide.